Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video. I haven't done one of these in so long. These are one of my favorite videos to film and watch, I have to say. I know I haven't uploaded in quite some time. If you follow me on my vlog channel, you know why. A bunch of personal reasons going on. But today we are going to dive into some new makeup. We're going to try some things out. We're going to get you guys updated on what is next for me, my family, everything going on. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just go ahead and hop on into it. To get started, I do have quite a few new products. This is like a haul that I did probably like late September and I just have not gotten around to trying these products out. The first thing that I have is the Pore Fix Detoxifying Primer. This is from XX Revolution. I don't know, I feel like Revolution has so many different like lines. I don't know who they are. I call them all usually just Makeup Revolution and that's it, so we'll see. So it says it's silky and lightweight and can be worn alone under or over makeup, vitamin E, and charcoal. So this reminds me so much of the Urban Decay primer that came out. I don't remember what exactly it's called. I did not love it. That's what it looks like and I'm just going to put this right in the areas where I have larger pores. I hate the feeling of this primer. Like when I can feel my skin make that that noise it really just does not do anything for me it doesn't really feel like it's absorbing into my skin it kind of feels like it's just laying on top and sliding all around so that makes me a little nervous but we'll see how it works otherwise it does look really good though it has minimized and smoothed out my pores and all of that I do like it and then of course I have my little bit of rosacea going on per usual next up we will be using the it cosmetics your skin but better foundation and skincare it says it improves bare skin in two weeks I never believe that kind of stuff but you know it's there water light medium color coverage, natural radiant finish. I was looking at this before I got started filming and this foundation has a glitter in it. So it's like a golden shimmer and there's a lot of it. I have been obsessed with this Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation. This has been my go-to lately, but I figured I would try this because I purchased it. I've had it here for a while. So we're just going to see how it works. Natural, no makeup, makeup effect. Coverage that minimizes pores and imperfections, all day hydration and wear. It evens the appearance of skin tone, visibly refines skin texture and softens skin. What a weird pump. I don't think I like the nozzle of this pump. It's like flat. So you can't see the shimmer in the foundation like on my hands. So I'm curious if I'm going to see it on my face. This shade by the way is tan neutral 42. In the born this way I'm in the shade warm beige and I did a full video on this foundation comparing this between the other matte foundation the peach perfect. So if you want to check that out I will link it down below. So far it looks pretty good. I think my sponge is soaking up a little bit of it so I might go in with a brush on the other side just to see how that works. I'm normally more of a sponge person but I'm always down to see what works best because sometimes I'll get switched over to a brush. Love the way it applies the foundation and then I start using a brush on everything. So I have to say my skin does look pretty good. Like it looks really smooth. Doesn't look cakey or anything like that. Definitely more of a medium coverage because you can still see the redness. I do like this color too. Tan Neutral 42. I'm actually surprised. Let me see if I can see that glitter. So far, no. I can't see any shimmer or anything. It's covering really well. This is one of my favorite brushes, Rats Here. This is actually another It Cosmetics brush and it is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Complexion Perfection. Kind of stamp it. You guys know I love to stamp my foundation if I use a brush. I don't know. I think I like both ways, to be honest. I feel like I got more coverage with the brush. Very impressed, I have to say. I think they both look great, so whatever you have should work. So now I'm going to start answering some of your questions, because we're going to kind of breeze through some of this and, you know, just apply makeup and catch up. I hope you guys have been doing well. I can't believe it's the end of October and Halloween is this weekend. It just has flown. Kind of glad it's flying by. I'm ready for this year to be over with. I'm ready for 2021, to be honest. Oh, what a year it has been. So I hope you guys are doing well too because I know it's been quite a wild ride for a lot of people. This question I get all the time. She asks, how do you go a week without washing your hair? Mine gets so greasy. What's the secret? And the secret is literally to train your hair and to just be strict about it. When I was told like I have to train my hair to not produce so much oil, I was like, uh, okay. And it was the hardest thing because again, I had really greasy hair. I wash my hair like every single day, which now I could not imagine washing, blow drying, styling my hair every day. Ooh, all the time, honey. No, 
I had to put it in a bun. I had to use a lot of dry shampoo. And you know, first it starts out as you go every other day. A few weeks pass, do every two days. A few weeks pass, you know, just gradually do it. It might take a little bit longer. It might take a month or two for you to get used to going every other day or whatever works best for you. But I do highly recommend doing that. And then of course having the best products, like the best dry shampoo and everything. If you're looking for affordable options, I'll leave them down below. There's one by Heritage. There's one by Batiste that I've used forever and I loved it. I have switched over to using Briogeo and then a whey dry shampoo to add like a nice fresh perfume scent but also apply dry shampoo to like the rest of my hair not just the root. The Briogeo one I use directly on my roots. It is amazing. It is so good you guys. Another thing too is if you get really oily fast, which I do as well, like the next day, even though it's second day hair, I never let it go without at least like a little bit of dry shampoo in there because it helps contain that oil. So a little bit of dry shampoo every day or if you just notice your hair is getting a little oily, just put a little dry shampoo in there. Let it absorb it and kind of go throughout your day. Avoid touching your hair as much as possible. That's a huge, huge one. But definitely training it and not washing it so much will really, really help not make your hair so greasy, I promise. The reason I Heart Revolution Heartbreaker Concealer. Oh, it's like a little heart. Do you see that? That is so cute. How do you stay organized with the business, YouTube, and still stay on trend and chic? Oh, that's very kind. I don't. So I am like one of the, oh, I hate this. Where's the product? I am not very organized, to be honest with you. I am as organized as I can possibly get right now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, which is where we seem to announce everything first. We are moving. So we are moving to Washington, which is really exciting. It is definitely far, but we're really pumped about it. And I'm pumped to have more seasons, to be honest with you, and to just experience something else. So we were at Fort Drum, and then we came down here to Georgia for a couple years, and now we're moving again across country, which is going to be insane. You can follow the vlog channel too for all like the moving vlogs if you love that kind of stuff. I live for that shit. I love moving vlogs. This is definitely too light. I'm gonna get the Rare Beauty concealer. I've been using this concealer. I have a different shade downstairs. I don't know if this one's gonna work for me. Hopefully it's a little bit darker. This should be fine. Um, I love this Rare Beauty concealer, just a side note. And once we do move, I'm gonna get an assistant for sure because I need someone to help me keep my thoughts in order and just help me stay on track with a few different things. I just, I need some help. Once we move, get kind of settled, I plan on getting an assistant and having some help with organization and stuff like that and getting a lot more done in the day. If you think I look chic every day, that's very sweet too, but I'm normally in sweatpants and leggings. Someone said, do you mind having to move house all the time? Is it hard with a business in one place? I actually don't mind it. I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I don't get too emotionally attached to houses. Like I like the idea of buying a new house and like seeing what you love about it, seeing what you don't because eventually we do want to build one day. Like once we are done moving like this, I do think it kind of stinks when I have to leave my business Luckily, I have a great team, but I love being present for that kind of stuff. Like if I need to be there, I can be there in an hour where I'm at now. But you know, when I move across the country and we're like hours behind, that's gonna be an adjustment, but I think we can definitely, definitely do it. It's definitely worth it for the experience, I feel like, and I have such a good team that I don't necessarily have to worry about things not getting done or whatever. I think they'll be perfectly fine. This one is like a little bit more dry, I would say. I don't love the formula of this. I do love the Rare Beauty. I feel like it always blends really well and looks skin-like and never looks cakey. So this has been my go-to recently. I have been loving it. It's perfect. I'm going to apply cream, bronzer, and blush because I have this Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek that looks really pretty. So we're going to try that out today. So I'm just using the Fenty Beauty Honey Glaze. This is really good. Someone asked, when are we moving? We are actually moving pretty soon. It really depends on the house. So housing market is freaking crazy over there. <laughs> I mean, in general, it's crazy, but wow, things are flying, flying. And I'm like, hold up, hold on. I just looked at this like two seconds ago and it's gone. So you have to be quick. It really just depends on the housing situation. If we don't find a house that we absolutely love, then I probably will just wait until we find one. I truly cannot keep up with the housing market though. It is insane right now, you guys. Now's the time to sell, honey. Now is the time to sell. 
sell, let me tell you that. But I have to say, I'm excited to be on the West Coast. I'm excited to experience something different. Of course, we're gonna be closer to Colorado, Montana, all of that. I think we're gonna do lots of traveling once we're over there and like go see different places. I've never really traveled on the West Coast. I've only been to California. I went to Texas a couple times, didn't really get to explore. I'm just, I'm pumped to see what else is out there, you know? Like I'm, I'm an East Coast girl, but I'm ready to go experience the West for a little bit. The time change is the one thing I'm nervous about, but we will get through it. Oh, this is a good question. What's your take on PR makeup? Still love, over it, or overwhelming? Let me tell you. I actually just recently requested to be taken off one company's PR list because they send packages like every other day and I'm just like, please, how how do you have these, these many launches? Like, I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong, but like, oh my gosh, take me off this PR list because I can't keep up, you know what I mean? Like, there's always something new going on. So I do love being on PR. It's not something that I seek to be on, you know what I mean? Like, I also love buying product. I don't think I'm doing that's right. It just seems greasy. Ugh. That's the Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek. I'm not so anywho, I don't seek to be on PR list. You know what I mean? Like I love buying makeup. I love the experience. I, you know, I got into this because I just love makeup and doing all of that. So it's not something I'm like, oh, I need to be on this PR list because I don't want to buy it. Like, no, not at all. It can be overwhelming if a brand sends 500 things at a time. You know, at that point, I usually request to get off of it because it's just too much. But one of the great things I do love about PR is if something is coming out and I can try it first. Yes, I love that. That's it's always the fun part and the part that I enjoy, especially when it's something I'm not expecting and it comes to my door and I'm like, what's this? And it's like a new product launching in a week or two and you're just, you get to try it out and let your followers know ahead of time. That's my favorite kind of PR. I give probably 90% away for giveaways and keep 10%. If that, it can get overwhelming. And I mean, cleaning, I cleaned out all my makeup drawers over here too. And I was like, oh, this is a lot of makeup and nobody needs 5,000 products. Like, no. But I do wanna wrap that up with I am very appreciative to be on PR list, brands that keep me on their PR list, I do greatly appreciate it. If not, I would still probably buy their products unless I don't like the brand. Ooh, this is cute. Long time subscriber here. How does it feel to have come so far on YouTube and social media? I think about this a lot recently too. I think because I'm realizing how freaking long I've been doing this for, it just blows my mind how long I've been doing it for. And I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful that I also used my platform to create another business venture that I really wanted to do. Another thing is I have been listening to a lot of business and like entrepreneurial podcasts and YouTube videos. And like, I'm fascinated by people who want to exceed in life and just they want to reach their goals they want to be entrepreneurs I love stuff like that because I'm the same way and I love seeing other people be successful my business has been successful I'm so thankful for it and like I want to be even more successful it's all because I started a little channel back in my parents old house which is so crazy with that pink bedding honey have you been around that long because I had that bright pink bedding and I thought it was so cute I still kind of always think like how did it happen to me to be honest like I wonder how I got put in this position I get asked all the time you know like what would you do if you didn't have this and that's a good damn question because I don't know ultimately though I will say I am so grateful for where I am at and I'm so grateful that you guys have continued to support me throughout the years the community that I have and the people that support me it is truly insane and I know a lot of you've been here for like almost a decade now and it just blows my mind like I can't I can't say thank you guys enough so I really do appreciate you guys and I appreciate you for sticking around appreciate you for buying stuff for my brand if you have if you've even just liked a freaking photo that is more than enough and more than I can ask for so thank you guys so much I'm gonna get emotional so I'm gonna move on from that question I get this question a lot what happens to rosy days once you move and it stays the same nothing changes We'll still be doing what we're doing. Like I said, I have a really 
great team. Wow, that is pigmented. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution. It says blush palette, but I don't know what the name is. But I have a really great team who will continue to do what we're doing and we're gonna accelerate. And we're also going to switch some things and, you know, work more with influencers here soon. I have some stuff planned. I've been working on some things, so you'll see. But that is my baby, it is my child, and I'm very, very, very hands-on to the point where people are like, you need to take some stuff off your plate. And I'm like, about that. <laughs> I don't think I can do that just yet. You know, I want to one day be able to take some stuff off my plate, but right now it's just not the time. I still, you know, we just turned three years old on the 17th of this month. You know, I'm still working hard to make her everything I want her to be. I want her to be the most successful thing, and it's something that I want to either pass down to my children or sell it and create the best life for my children. Either way, I want something to be able to be like, I started this and then it just blossomed into something else. You know, I have big dreams and I have other business ventures that I want to dabble into as well. Nothing changes, trust me. I might be three hours away, but I'm still looking. I'm always on it. What are your Christmas plans and are you going to do Vlogmas? So, since we are moving, we're not really going to decorate a ton for Christmas. We're going to have like the Christmas tree up and some stockings and stuff, but we're not going to, you know, do what I normally do. Y'all know Christmas is like my time. So this year I'm a little bit sad, but we're going to do other things. Things like we're gonna go see the lights at Callaway probably multiple times and take advantage of like things that probably the town might do I don't know what they're doing but we're just gonna take advantage of it I will be vlogging for sure I think this one is a little too pinky for me I'm not a big pink person so I dig away with a pixie by Petra and just put that on top okay so for brows I'm gonna try out this brow extensions fiber pomade crayon hair like fibers naturally thick brows this is what it looks like have you started Christmas shopping yet yes yes did. I have been on it just because I know shipping times is going to be crazy. Listen, coming from someone who is in the industry where you have to ship a lot of stuff, give people some grace this year because let me tell you, USPS, UPS, FedEx, they're going to be slammed this year, you guys. They're slammed every year, but this year I just know it's going to be different and shipping times might be longer. You might get things after Christmas, so just plan ahead. I don't know if I like this. This is like pretty thick. Anyways, I have a guide for like kids. I have ideas for him. I have ideas for her. Let me know if you guys want to see those and if you would want to see them on the vlog channel or this channel because it's a lot of stuff. And also if you wanted to, you could follow me on Like to Know It because I post a lot on there. Shipping's wild right now because everybody is shipping everything. So just keep that in mind. Someone did ask would I have a meetup before I leave and no, especially due to COVID, I would not have a meetup. I had so much plan to do this year. Like we bought that bus and like we went Wanted to do pop-ups and all that stuff for Rosie Days, which would have been a fun like meetup experience too. I still want to do that, but we obviously can't do it right now. That pomade thing is so thick. I don't think I love it. Like my brows are like laying flat. I'm just going to lightly do some eyeshadow. We have this Kylie palette. This is the Kylie Jenner pressed powder palette, but it's the like peachy one. It's really pretty. Someone asked, how do I like military moves? And I like them. You wanna know why? Because they move this for you. So it's not like I have to do a lot of work or anything. We do like to pack up ourselves like super valuable items. It is so nice. So I don't dread them, honestly, especially when you're moving cross country. I don't know how people do it, man. That's a lot of work. We have never had an issue. Knock on wood. We've never had an issue with our stuff being shipped to us. Um, so that's why it's been really great. Someone asked if I collect Ray Dunn and no, I do not. I find a couple of her things at Target and Michaels and stuff, but I don't like sought out for it. I don't know. There's a couple things that she has I think are cute, but I just, but I'm not also not like too matchy matchy of a person. Like I don't like a ton of stuff that's very similar. So I don't really collect any of that. This is a good question. Do you feel pressured to be friends with other influencers? And no. And I answered this question because I feel like if you would have asked me this years ago, I would have said yes, because it's all about networking. And I was always told it's all about networking. It's all about networking, blah, blah, blah. Which yes, it is, but like, 
friendships should not be forced. I love interacting with influencers that I love following. Like, I don't force myself onto anyone. I comment on things I like and talk to people who I feel like have the same interests. You know what I mean? Why waste your time trying to be friends with people that you like went and vibe with? You know what I mean? I'm more focused on my family and my like personal life than I am trying to be friends with a whole bunch of influencers to like help myself. You know what I mean? But I do have a lot of influencer friends. I call, like my online friends. I do have a lot of them. Makeup to wear with a mask. I'm a teacher in my mask all day, so I've just been wearing my eyes. Honestly, I would probably just wear my eyes too at this point. I don't think I would necessarily wear like a ton of makeup. I've worn quite a few different products underneath masks just to see like how they perform and so far my favorite has been this Too Faced one because it has lasted really really well and hasn't budged and gotten all over my mask. I've used some other ones that have gotten everywhere. My Ilia skin tint, I love it. I love it so much but it is not a lockdown kind of product. It gets all over the mask so don't use the Ilia skin tint. This is KKW lip liner in nude 1.5 but I have this Too Faced melted matte lipstick in pumpkin spice that is beautiful and we're gonna apply it today it does smell good i don't know about pumpkin spice but it does smell good yes do you see that color i love this color and i want to add a little something in the middle so i'm going to take this wet n wild liquid cat suit i used to love these and i kind of forgot all about them so i went ahead and purchased another one because i really love this color so this is a nudist peach these are Awesome if you're looking for an affordable matte lip color. Put that right in the middle. Give it some dimension. Last but not least, I am going to use this Pore Fix Detoxifying Fixing Mix. Mist. Mist. It says oil control mattifying fixing spray. Detoxify skin whilst holding makeup in place. I like the primer so much that I'm curious to see if I'll like this. This seems fine so far. So far, I'm really liking this foundation. I'm definitely gonna test it under my mask too, but so far, I really do like it and the primer. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed catching up with me, and I hope you found some products that you wanted to try. I'll definitely keep you updated on these. I'm about to now film my Sephora recommendations video. I don't know which one's gonna be up first, this one or that one, it kinda depends. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.